In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, it's all about Todoist and OneNote and the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Hello and welcome to this 131 episode, actually 131st episode of Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to take you through the process or take, show you how you can use Todoist with Microsoft's OneNote. And not only that, what I want to do is to give you the opportunity of winning some Todoist goodies. Well, actually, I've got three premium user account coupons or promo codes for you, and I've got some sticker packs that I'm going to send out as well. But what I want to do first is to explain what you need to do to enter this 10,000 subscriber giveaway that I'm doing in this week's episode. And that is all you need to do is to subscribe to my Facebook group or just join my Facebook group. And underneath this video uh, in the comment section, just say hello. That's all I need you to do. So all you have to do is just add a comment underneath this video on my Facebook group and just say hello or hi or whatever in your own native language because that's going to tell me how many people who are non-native English speakers who are actually watching this episode or this show. So don't forget, I want you to say hello in your native language. So if you're American, you say hi. If you're Canadian, I guess you say hi. If you're British, I suppose you say hello. Uh, if you're French, bonjour. If you're um, whatever, if you're Korean, annyeonghaseyo. Uh, whatever language it, your native language is, please say hello in your native language and in the comment section underneath on my Facebook group. I'll put a link to the Facebook group and in the comment section or the notes section of this video so you can watch. Okay, I just want to say to you guys though, thank you so much if you subscribe to this channel. I really, really appreciate all your support, the wonderful questions you ask me every single week. It is fantastic and I really appreciate everything that you guys are doing to help me, to keep me going with this channel. So thank you very much. I can't believe that we've hit 10,000 subscribers in only 22 or 23 months. So thank you very much. Okay, let's get into this episode, which is Todoist and Microsoft OneNote working together. I should just point out that I am not a big uh, Microsoft OneNote user. I'm an Evernote user. I'm sure you all know this already. But what I want to do, I keep getting asked this question about how would you use Microsoft OneNote with Todoist. And remember, what you're doing is, in this instance, Microsoft's OneNote would actually work as a project support materials or it's for your project support materials. So what you're essentially doing is you're trying to link the note or the project notes to the task in Todoist. And that's basically what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So you probably know this already, but if you're considering or you're new to OneNote, or maybe this will be very useful for you. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's show you Todoist. Uh, but before we do that, I should just say, if you like this video, please click on the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get in and let's show you how Microsoft OneNote can work with Todoist. Okay, so here we are in Microsoft OneNote. I have to say that I always love the look of OneNote. I know it's very Microsoft-y, um, which might not suit everybody, but actually, I just think it looks very nice. So I've created a just a Todoist test, um, <clears throat> uh, I suppose, notebook or section or folder, <laughs> whatever they want to call it in, micro, in OneNote. And what I've done is I've just created a few things just so that you can see what you can do. Now, one of the, the best features, and you cannot, for some reason, you cannot do this in Microsoft Word, but let's just say that you've created a list of things here and these are going to be what I would call um, 
tasks after you've been say in a meeting so you can just click on the to do which will give you the square inbox the boxes there so you can tick them off when you've done them which is one of the things i like i, I have to be honest the user interface of Microsoft OneNote is actually very, very good. Um, but one of the problems that I do have with OneNote is the integration with OneNote and Todoist is not as seamless as I find it is with um, Evernote. But that said, this video is all about how you would integrate things with OneNote. So one of the best things, one of the things is in Microsoft Word, you can't do this, but in OneNote, you can. If you highlight these tasks here, click uh, copy them so command C or option C and then go into your to do is and let's go into my uh, inbox here add task and then hit the paste key it's going to ask you if you want to add four tasks which I'm going to do and one of the things that you may have noticed is I added here the at office at home at iPhone and at Langyong who is my wife and it's brought in the labels as you would want them to come in so that is one of the features that is really cool that you can do, which is uh, just when you're in a meeting, you might be adding all these things. So you don't have to go directly into Todoist to add your tasks. During the meeting, you can just add these tasks and boom, there they go. Um, that works brilliantly. But as I say, for some reason, I've never been able to get that to work in Microsoft Office. I guess it's something to do with the formatting of Microsoft Office. But OneNote actually does carry that sort of thing, which is really, really good. Um, the other one that you can do is uh, I've actually this is not really to do is related but let me just show you something that you can do with OneNote if you're using a Mac um, let's just say that I want to have a look at Michael Hyatt's uh, new website which um, Michael Howard Hyatt is uh, a fantastic um, website he's just redesigned his website for those of you who know Michael Hyatt he's a very amazing podcast and blogs so he's just redone this and what you can do for those of you using Safari and Mac you can actually go into the share sheet and you can add that directly to OneNote you get the call up here and I've already set this up because I tested to make sure it worked um, so down here you can actually choose the areas that you want to put it so I'm going to put it in the new section and I'm going to send and that goes straight across to OneNote very, very quickly. As you can see, it's already come in. I can just zoom that out and, you know, you can have a look. And I've captured the website. This might be something related to a meeting that I'm in. But anyway, let's go back to this. So let's just say now that this was the meeting note and uh, I want to put this into my Todoist. Now, the problem that I have here is in Evernote, what I can do is I can do all sorts of little things with this. And but here... I, I don't really have that many options. So I can copy uh, a view only link to notebook or I can copy view and edit link to notebook. And if I hit the option key, it doesn't change anything. So I cannot copy the classic note link. But what I would do is copy the view and edit link note because this is coming to me. It's in to do it. So it's coming to me. And then it's loading the sharing link, which is a bit slow and a bit weird. But there we go. So that's going to come up. That's OK. And now what I can do is I can go into here. Now, um, let's just say review meeting notes from Saturday. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this in brackets, because when you put that in brackets with uh, into do is that means that what the, the URL that comes before it is going to uh, disappear when you add the task. So now I've added the task. All I have to do is click on review notes. What that's going to do is it's going to take me to OneDrive. Now, obviously, you can share this with other people. So OneDrive is going to take me to OneNote and um, <laughs> it hasn't synced yet. <laughs> so I need to sync that. So let's just go in here and I need to sync. Can we sync this? Sync this notebook, right? It's just going to sync that. Let it go. Bam, bam, bam. So <laughs> typical I'm doing these things live and it's, it obviously gets a little bit fast and for some reason I'm noticing that the syncing is a bit slow that could be just my internet speed maybe but anyway basically what you can do is you can copy this note link um, here come on you copy the note link here and uh, from file 
and sh from the share so you can invite people to the notebook copy view only link if you are going to send that to just to other people but for the purposes of using this with Todoist then copy view and edit link note to notebook and then you can just send that over and I just wonder if that's come up yet let's see as it's synced uh, looks like it might have done let's see it's coming in yes it has so that's synced nicely and because I actually um, because I actually shared the editable link, uh, this should be editable, but it's not. But anyway, you see the, how you can actually use this within your um, Todoist. But unfortunately, unlike when you share the note in Evernote, where you can copy the classic note link, which would open up your uh, actual Evernote on your computer, then you can't actually do that. I've not been able to find a way of doing that with OneNote, but that's basically how I would be using my OneNote with uh, Todoist because really, remember, Todoist is about telling you what you need to work on next and your OneNote, if you're using a Microsoft OneNote, OneNote is where you keep all the reference materials. So essentially you're using it like you would use it with uh, Evernote. But this is just for you guys. There are a few things that you can do. Obviously, you can copy and paste a, a list of tasks that you've created in a meeting and you can then share that note with yourself and use that as your project support material. So uh, I think that's a really, I, as I say, I'm really surprised that that has not come up as a um, as a um, as a editable link, but there you go. That's how Evernote is working. But it does, sorry, OneNote is working. I knew I was going to get them confused. But for those of you using OneNote, I mean, OneNote and Todoist does work reasonably well together. I, I would have to say that it's not quite as, what doesn't quite work as well as it would do with Evernote. But I do know that many of you guys are in the Microsoft workspace and therefore these things are, um, are going to be very important if they can link with your OneNote account. Well, if you share the OneNote, you can actually put it into your uh, into your Todoist account. Okay, hopefully you found that really useful. Uh, if you have any comments, and also as I mentioned in the introduction, if you do know some other tips and tricks that you can use with Todoist and OneNote, please leave the comment in the comment section below because I'm not a OneNote user as a rule, but I did want to show you one or two things that you can use which might prove very helpful. Okay, thanks very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.